Hi guys, today <laughs> I sat down saying, well, I'm going to do a video this morning about whatever, you know. I tried to use my iPad M1 with my kit to be able to create a new intro for the YouTube channel. Fine, let's sit down and have fun. And uh, by the way, let's try to use the Bluetooth devices that I have. I have the Nanoki Studio and I have the Roland A01. These are two Bluetooth devices that I use in the past to work with my different um, iOS devices, and they work well. Well, today it took me about an hour, an hour and a half to get it to work. Listen to this. I sit down, I have the iPad, turn on the device, go with the nano keys first, try to use it, cannot see it. The iPad doesn't see it. I go back to my older iPad, my iPad 12 inch Pro, the original, the first gen of the 12 inch Pro. Fine, try to do this. It sees it. Actually, it works. Okay, go back to this one. Try to make it work on the M1. Could not see it. I mean, the OS doesn't see it. The gadget doesn't see it. Zenbeats doesn't, doesn't see it. It actually sees something like the memory of it. But when you click on it, it goes, it just, it, it doesn't do anything. It just like try and then it stops. Not connected. Look online. I found a YouTube channel when they say basically, if your iPad doesn't see Bluetooth devices, there's like three things to do. First of all, verify you have the latest update. I do have it. Then they, they say, do a, a hard reset. Now, a hard reset on the iPad M1, you need to press on the volume up, volume down, and then the power. Up, down, power. And then you're going to turn off. But you keep it. You keep your finger on it, and it will actually force it to restart. You keep, you hold, you wait, you wait, you wait, and then it will reboot. So that's kind of the hard reset. Oh, didn't know about that. Do this, nothing's different. Bluetooth still doesn't see the nano keys. Okay, trying to figure out why and how. So, okay, maybe, maybe I've got something else. Because the, the third option was basically, oh yeah, the third option is you basically, you go into the system preferences and you go reset network parameters. Because for the Bluetooth is part of the network. I do that, reboot, doesn't work. Okay, so it's not this. Now, is it my computer? Is it my Bluetooth that is problematic? So I take my other one, turn it on. You basically see right away you've got this little, this way that it boots. You get this little Bluetooth light flashing. You get this, connect to the iPad, works right away. So it works. That's not, that's not my, I mean, it's, it's not a Bluetooth problem. Well, <clears throat> it's not the iPad problem. <laughs> it's the Korg Nano keys. Not the Roland. Roland works right away. It works on all my iOS devices. So this one works. Happy. But, I mean, I've got the other one. So why and how the other one doesn't work? Then I visit the Korg website. Try to figure out if there's any type of information over there. And there is. Since iOS 13, there's a firmware update for the Nano Keys Studio if it doesn't work on your setup. So it doesn't seem to affect every iOS devices the same way, but if your device doesn't see it, but I'm guessing it's most, mostly because if you have this installed and l connected on your iOS device before you update to iOS 13 or 14, then it will keep the connection live in a way. That's why it worked on my iPad 12 inch pro the first gen and by the way at one point one of my tests was basically maybe it's it's connected to the old ipad so the new ipad cannot see it so let's actually uh, release it so i went into the bluetooth of my older ipad and i said forget about this device tried it on the new ipad doesn't see it so then what i do i try to reconnect it the ipad first gen doesn't see it anymore so as soon as I forget about it, could not be able to load it anywhere on these devices. On Korg website, they say, well, if you have this problem, you need to firmware update this. Okay, 
fine. You go on Korg website and, and the nano key section and you've got download. And if you got one of the things you can download is the firmware update. It's a simple little software, turn it on. It says, connect your nano key to the computer, but wait, it has to be in firmware update mode. It's not just USB connected, so it works. So I take my cable, plug it in into my, my computer, doesn't see it. I mean, it sees it, but it's in the normal mode, not in firmware mode. To put it in firmware mode, you need to press on octave minus plus sustain at the same time while you connect, and you have to be sure that you're in USB mode. So you're in USB mode, you connect the cable, it will power up the device. So when you power up, you press on these two while you turn it on. And then you should have these four buttons. They should light up in white. You go, okay, if you're in that mode, you're in firmware mode. I would not be able to do that. It, I, I tried 10 times different way, connect. And then at one point I said, well, I'm actually connected through a, a USB hub. Unconnect the hub connect straight into my Mac while I press minus and sustain. Now it works. So get rid of the hub, connect directly between the Korg Nano Key Studio and your computer. While you press these two, you're going to get into firmware update. Now it's okay. I press scan. It sees it. It sees that it's an older firmware. It says you can update. Update takes about a minute. Unconnect, turn it off, turn it back on into normal mode. And guess what? Works my iPad, works with the other iPad. I don't have to forget one or the other. They works on both devices. Firmware update. That's what you need to do. <laughs> There's always an answer somewhere. <laughs> so I hope this helps if you're having the same problem that I had. Stay safe, make music. See you soon. Cheers.